When I first started this channel, I had this idea to do a recurring series of videos about game shops and computer junk shops around the world that I like. Before the global pandemic crisis, I used to travel a lot for work, and there were a bunch of places where I went to repeatedly, and so as I explored these places, I found shops that I liked, and I want to share some of those travel experiences with other people. Well, I didn't have any expectation that it would be over a year and a half, almost two years, between when I started the channel and when I would actually go somewhere. <laughs> So when I went on my recent trip down to VCF West in Central California, I was finally able to go to one of those shops and I'm finally able to do a first video in what I hope to be a recurring series about shops around the world that I like. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this, this shop that I, that I like down there. Before I start looking at the actual subject of this video, let's take a moment to Remember those that we've lost. This is the former location, the exact former location of Channel Namesake Weird Stuff Warehouse. They had to close because Google bought the property and clearly just demolished the hell out of it. <laughs> and they are building something new and hopefully fabulous in its place. Maybe I'll come back by here in another year or two and, and see what they've done with the place. But for now, it's still a work in progress. The first thing about Space Cat itself is they have a teeny tiny little sign that is located really, really high up. And it's very easy to miss the sign and miss their parking lot entrance from the road. So just if you're going to go there, be, be careful and keep an eye out for it. Space Cat bills itself as a comic shop, and that's probably fair because the majority of their square footage is dedicated to comics and graphic novels and related things. How about if we take a look inside? To the right, when you come in the door, is all the comics and graphic novels and all that stuff, but to the left is a small, dense, well-curated collection of games that includes a lot of interesting import titles. This includes a number of games for Dreamcast, PlayStation 3, some import Famicom games, and some import Super Famicom games as well. Now I'm about six feet tall, and shorter people interested in looking at the games here might have some trouble seeing the stuff at the very tippy top of the shelves, and we'll see some more of, of that problem a little bit later. If I hadn't already spent so much money on computers and computer parts previously on this trip, I for sure would have bought this um, Intellivision computer add-on module. I don't see those very often, and, and I'd really kind of like to add one to my collection. There's a very clean Atari Pong console nestled away in this cabinet. Some TRS-80 color computer games in this cabinet. This is where I got the Arkanoid complete in box that I showed in my previous pickups video. Pro tip, whenever you're going to game shops or estate sales or anything like that to hunt for old video games, bring a flashlight. It is the most useful tool of the trade. That was a brief look at Space Cat down in San Jose, California. In my pickups video that I did a few weeks ago, I called it San Diego. <laughs> and a few times when I've been talking to people about the trip and told them where I went, I said San Diego. I don't know why. San Jose and San Diego are very different places and they're like a thousand miles apart or something. There's no reason to get the two of them confused. I don't know what was going wrong with my brain. Hopefully, this is just the first of many videos in this series. I have a bunch of other shops in mind that I would love to visit again as I'm able to travel and get to those parts of the world where they are. I probably won't cover any shops, perhaps with one exception, that is in sort of the Portland to Seattle I-5 corridor. Um, I feel like Metal Jesus and John Riggs and some other people in that sort of extended group pretty well have all those shops covered so i don't need to i don't need to double up their their efforts 
but I do hope to get out to some more shops, hopefully sooner than in a year and a half. <laughs> Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. There are links below in the description. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. If you would like to see other related content or follow-up videos in this series, click the subscribe button. And until next time, try to remember the good stuff.